What's up guys, this is Manny and Jason from Samuri. Today we're here to talk about our Tolino KA1001 Crypt Analysis Workstation. Uh, it's completely redesigned and we'd like to go over some of the features with you. This is Tolino Talk. All right, awesome. We've got the top and the sides off of this new K1001 crypt analysis unit. Manny, why don't you take us through some of the advances we've got for this year? Yeah, so it's completely redesigned. I have it redesigned. Um, my theory is liquid-cooled GPUs are the way to go if you're running any kind of GPU-based software like Hashcat, Passware, Elcomsoft. Um, Liquid-cooled GPUs are going to be the way to go. It keeps the cards cool, so this chassis is designed to hold three of the GTX 1080 Ti video cards uh, with 3,584 CUDA cores per card. Um, like I said, it's designed to keep the, the cooling going from the front of the box out through the back of the box with enough fans to keep the cards cool. As you know, like sometimes when you're running GPU-based processes, depending on what you, what you use, the cards can be taxed anywhere from 90 to 100 percent so that's one that's one of the things that i wanted to um, incorporate in this box is the liquid cooling to make sure that the cards stay cool otherwise you know they heat up and they'll overheat blue screen the machines not good melt the card and we've also got the new i9 processor in there right manny yeah so we're also putting the brand new intel core i9 the 7900x processor in it so you got super fast throughput super fast bandwidth on the processor brand new motherboards uh updated ram updated specs on the ram we're also um we're also putting on the uh, liquid cooled as usual like all with everything we do with Tolino. Uh, we're doing liquid cooling actually for the cpu because i don't I don't want some non-GPU accelerated processes to actually overheat the processor. So we're doing liquid cooling on the processor as well. So, so what we also have designed uh, in on the front is we have some drive space up front so that you can actually put in three and a half inch drives and two and a half inch drives. Uh, as everybody knows, a lot of the times you're copying over files or maybe you want to hold uh, dictionaries on this system. So we actually have these drives, uh, these bay enclosures on this system so that you can add those uh, like either dictionaries in or perhaps you want rainbow tables or you want to use something else we have that feature there we also have a 3.0 up at the front USB 3.0 should you happen to need to walk up and plug in uh, any kind of USB devices to copy over files or copy over dictionaries add anything to the to the to the system for processing so we think it's we think it's a good design just based on the fact that you're going to get a lot of processing power with the GPUs uh, for password cracking all the while staying cool so that uh, you know you don't overheat graphics cards which usually is not a good thing at all when you're when you're doing password cracking. Also keep an eye on the website. We'll have some blogs up soon on the cryptanalysis stuff and we're also getting ready to unleash our 2U and 4U solutions for cryptanalysis as well as the freestanding K1001 and I'm going to get a blog up as soon as we have all those up and running where I, I run the same uh, file and crack the password. I'll give you the times for all the Tolino units and we'll give you access to the file and uh, why don't you put your crypto rig up on stars and see what you get. That's all we have for this week. Uh, Steve and I are at the Northwest Regional ICAT Conference in Seattle. Uh, if you want to stop by the booth, we can chat about the cryptanalysis workstations or any of the other workstations that we have. If you have questions, if you just want to talk forensics, we'll be there all this week. Uh, so for now, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.